I've been really trying to like MSI Tomahawk with the board's degeneration, but the pricing has made it kind of difficult. However, I don't think they can mess up the pricing too much on a budget chipset like with the MSI Mag B850 Tomahawk Max, which will cost you just $230. Though the Max is kind of redundant because there is no non-Max board here. So okay, what exactly does MSI offer with this? Well, selling off CPU power, here you have 14 plus 2 plus 1 power phases, rated at a maximum of 80 amps, which sure while a step down from a lot of X870 mobile boards, again, it really doesn't matter unless you're a hard curve clocker. And even then, combine the two full A pins for CPU power, and even the 8400 mega transfer per second speed rating on the memory, which is actually higher than quite a few other B850 mobile boards, it will still serve you rather well when it comes to pure performance. Then when it comes to the PC expansion, you do have three physical 16x slots and sadly yet again no physical 1x slot which still hurts me to the core but whatever. The primary one is actually gen 5 which is neat because that is not a requirement for B850. The middle one is just one gen 3 lane though and the last one features four gen 4 lanes and in terms of storage you do have four M.2 slots here which is great because again some B850 mobile boards cheap out and go for, for free instead but the crazy thing is it has two gen 5 and not two slots, pretty unheard of at its price point, with the other two being Gen 4, though do keep in mind that if you populate the third M.2 slot, the bandwidth to that last PC slot will be cut in half, and to top it all off you have four set of connectors, which let's be honest is more than enough for most people in 2025 when you probably aren't using that many SATA drives. Well, MSI ain't no gigabyte with the plentiful USB Type-A ports, given how here you just get seven, with four of them being Gen 2, which may or may not be enough depending on how many peripherals you're planning on plugging in. However, it more than makes up for it with the whopping three USB Type-C ports. However, annoyingly, they are all capped at just 10 gigabits per second, even if the chipset itself is capable of up to 20. As such, you don't have too much high-speed USB on this mobile board. However, again, you probably don't even need it most of the time unless you're frequently reading large files from an external SSD or something. Another thing you most likely won't need is the integrated HDMI, but it's here anyway just in case. And MSI are also retaining the 5 gigabit Ethernet, one of the big selling points for the X870 products, in even the more budget option, which is nice to see, even if again, kind of useless for most people. Add to that Wi-Fi 7, and also, unfortunately yet again, just two audio jacks and optical spidiff, which also hurts me to the core, but at least it's running off the ALC 4080 code. Deck. That means that this board has pretty much everything you could ever need, unless you need high speed USB because you don't have much of that here, and unless you really need RGB because there's none of that here as well. So okay, it has mostly everything you could ever need, so if you want to get it yourself then our Amazon links to it will be up in the iCards and down in the video description below. However, the issue, as always, is competition. Between cheaper B850 boards, last gen X670 or B650 stuff, and even some mega aggressively priced X870 motherboards, this motherboard just doesn't excel in any one area too much apart from maybe just having this free USB Type-C ports, which depending on your setup could be one of the main reasons why you want to get this thing. But what's always a great deal is our Patreon, because that costs as little as $1 a month, plus huge thanks to Captain Burns, Justin Rage, Elav Ronyak, Bottish Roker, Battle Carrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shade Warcraft, and Level Up. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.